Mir and Brema. It's Saturday, about nine o'clock. Uh, I had a, a late dinner, later than usual for me. And now I'm on the, the promenade or promenade, whatever, whatever they call it. It's quite empty. I've seen a few families and dogs, but um, pretty quiet. I did do a video earlier today, so I'll show you a little bit of that. Mir and Brema, good afternoon. It is Saturday, uh, about 3.15, and I am now in the city of Saranda, which is along the coast, along the Ionian Sea, and in front of one of the many beaches. This is kind of a, a promenade. And Valentina told me that like all of this, that you, all the, all apartments, all, all houses, apartments, and hotels, not houses, mainly apartments and hotels, and within the last 10 years. So this has just exploded and gone crazy. And, uh, which I'm, I'm, I'm happy for, for the tourism, but it also makes me a little sad that uh, all this, this beautiful area <laughs> has been developed. It's kind of a, a catch-22. Um, but anyway, I'm going to keep walking. Anyway, earlier today on the way here, we stopped at the Blue Eye, which is a, a, a spring that <clears throat> like goes 50 meters deep and has the, the shape and the look of a, a Blue Eye. Uh, that was beautiful. And the hike there was beautiful. And the drive there was beautiful. And uh, Valentina said that in the summer, like on the platform where I stood, it's not uncommon to have to wait like 15 to 20 minutes just to get up there and get a photo because the line is so long and of course there are Instagrammers trying to get photos and uh, so it's very popular and a lot of people swim in it. I mean no one was swimming today. That wasn't something I wanted to do. And um, I then went up to the, the La Cursi Castle which is here in Saranda and that the castle wasn't as spectacular as the other two, the Barat and the Girocaster castles, but the view of Corfu and the, the islands of Samil and um, the, just looking at the, the city of Saranda was, those were spectacular. Um, so well worth it, you know, going up there for, for that. One thing I've noticed as we've been traveling is when we, when we, when you enter a city, there'll be like a sign and then right underneath it will be the sign with another city and there's a red line through it and I asked Valentina what that meant and she said oh well that means you're entering the new city and you're leaving the other city <laughs> and I thought that was kind of funny so like imagine if we were you know if I were living in Green Bay and entering Green Bay on like Ashland Avenue so there'd be a sign that said Green Bay and then De Pere underneath it with a line through it like you were leaving to pier entering green bay and uh she said well you always know where you are <laughs> with that that's a, that's very much a an albanian thing uh all over the country so something i something i had noticed and uh, yeah so uh we'll do some more exploring tomorrow of course being near the ionian sea um seafood is very prevalent here so i had a, a wonderful uh shrimp pasta for dinner as well as a wonderful Greek salad. All the salads I've had here have been phenomenal. Like I, I try to get a salad with dinner just because you know vegetables are good for us and <laughs> and they just they fill you up but I the sal the the lettuce, the tomatoes, the olives, the feta cheese like all of it. Um, the even the red onion, the all of it. It has, they've just been, they're, first of all, they're humongous and they just are, they taste amazing and fresh. So uh, that's it for tonight. Natan Amir, uh, Mir Pashim, goodbye. Yes.